All right, well, should we get started? Giddy up, let's go. Okay. <laughs> on Saturday Night Live this weekend, Maya Rudolph didn't just impersonate Beyonce again. No, she did the Beyonce on Hot Ones sketch again. Okay. Last time she hosted SNL, which was in March 2021, she did a sketch where B was eating hot wings. It's taking all my concentration to keep from blowing out my pants on your janky ass show. <laughs> and I guess because it proved to be such a big hit, like it has over 9 million views on YouTube, that they did it again. This was the only thing I have attempted that I did not slay. <laughs> now it's gonna be difficult for some people to grasp this, but just because Maya was poking fun at Beyonce's persona doesn't make her a hater. I mean, I've done Beyonce and like people are like, oh, we got like, I genuinely love her. Like, make no mistake. Yeah. I am so in love with her. There's this whole thing called comedy, which yeah, can include people like, poking fun at someone else, but it's all, yeah, and good fun. It's a cool concept, you should check it out. I just went to the Renaissance tour. And I'm still tired. Yeah, last September, Maya attended night one in LA of B's recent tour. And after being chosen as one of Time Magazine's 100 most influential people this year. I want to make a toast to the new Cowboy Carter album. Because I'm, I'm a clever, clever girl. girl. Now, to be clear, Beyonce was not at this event. She was not included on Time 100's list. So you might think it's really unique for one of the honorees to decide to use their time to praise Beyonce's work. But amazingly, this is not the first time this has happened. Now, I was actually going to do this toast. I was going to toast my mother and all immigrant mothers. But ladies and gentlemen, I just watched Beyonce's homecoming. Yeah, in 2019, Sandra Oh threw away her prepared speech for the April 19th event after she watched Beyonce's concert doc that was released on April 17th, 2019. Mommy, I love you, but I got to talk about Queen Bay for a second, OK? <laughs> I saw Beachella. <gasps> you were there? It changed my life. Yeah, you're getting emotional. And yeah, Maya was actually at Coachella that year, in 2018, when Beyonce performed her monumental set. We all witnessed something that had never been done. It was, I'm, I'm, I'm truly emotional talking yeah. about it. Now at the Time 100 Gala, Maya wanted to talk about Beyonce's latest work. She doesn't need to speak about what this album is about. Now, to be fair, Beyonce hasn't spoken about it, but she did write a lengthy Instagram post 10 days prior to Cowboy Carter's release where she revealed what inspired the 27 song collection. She chose this album to create a conversation about racism in America. In part, Beyonce wrote in that post, I hope that you can hear my heart and soul and all the love and passion that I poured into every detail and every sound. When I listen to this album, I do hear pain, but I hear a deep, beauty, a beauty that comes from pain. And Maya did reveal why she feels such a close connection to Cowboy Carter. People will try to categorize you and tell you who you think you are, something that I know very well. Maya was categorized as an innovator as part of Time 100's list. Ironically, Beyonce was given the Innovator Award at the iHeart Radio Music Awards that took place just a few days after Cowboy Carter was released. Being an innovator often means being criticized, which often will test your mental strength. But when you know who you are, you are free. And that's the recent Oscar winner, Divine Joy Randolph, who's also included on Time 100's list, getting emotional during Maya's toast. To Beyonce for creating art that makes us think and reflect and forces us to stand and face the wind. I'll raise a glass to that. Orange juice. I'm not going to drink some right now because I need to talk. Come on. Now... <laughs> I think it shows how impactful Beyonce's music is that celebrities like Sandra and Maya are using their allotted time at this event, an event that they might not ever speak at again, to praise Beyonce's work. Like Time Magazine, even though you didn't include her as one of the most influential people in the world, I know you're aware of the album because on March 15th, you posted a YouTube segment entitled Beyonce Fans Talk About a New Album Cowboy Carter. And then on March 29th, the day of the album's release, you put together another segment entitled Fans Wrecked to Beyonce's New Album Cowboy Carter. I then started to scroll back your 2024 post to see the other times where you've done this kind of segment for an album. You haven't done it for a single album in 2024 except for this one. Interesting. I did notice in my scrolling for the Grammys in February, you posted the highlight reel and fashion reel, but then you also did a specific segment on Jay-Z calling out the Grammys for snubbing Beyonce. So it seems as though you know how influential Beyonce can be on your YouTube views, and yet she didn't make your top 100 of the most influential people. Huh. I'll just leave it at that. Beyonce, who in my opinion, is one of the greatest living performers of our time. What did you think of, okay, hold on for this one. This was good, I like this one. What did you think of Maya going Gaga over Yaya and the other 26 songs on Cowboy Carter? 
Come on, give me that one. That's good. Yeah, 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 yeah.